Hey, welcome to the Continuing Winemaker Series here at Wine of the Month Club. I have Jim Fialik. It's hard to believe. Which we just heard the, the initial story of how that name came about. It's the, what is it, the violet one? It's the second flower that emerges from the snow in the spring in these uh, Carpathian Mountains. What do you think of that, Ed? That's great. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're coming here to taste Syrah from different parts of Santa Barbara County, and they're talking about violets. You know, now, I have to start this conversation because when you walked in, I, I, we, we engaged, and I thought, you know, this has happened before at some level, and... Turns out that in the 80s, when you were with Sanford Winery. That's right. And the one of the first wines I bought, as Ed might remember, was the Sanford 86 Pinot Noir. And you knew my father. Yes. He's still, he would call me this The 86 was really juicy, remember? I mean, it's a it, great was wine. it was just. Um, it was, was that Bruno's wine? It was. Yeah. In fact, they were, they were his up until 2006. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so, yeah. so that was fun to have a little history. And now you're back down visiting us because you are the executive director of. The Santa Barbara County Vintners Association. And how, how big is that? Or well, well, there are 140... Santa Barbara's a pretty big county, actually. Isn't that funny that Ed would actually <laughs> speak over your guest? I mean, yeah, no, it's not, it, a, it, it's not do, a do you know, do you know <laughs> how much that, that he must respect me, that he has that much trust? And, and I was told to be careful with you two guys. You yeah, go back further. Uh, than... the, 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 the Santa Barbara <laughs> County Vineyards Association has uh, 114 winery members and 100 and, and actually, excuse me, and 26... Uh, grower members, uh, there are approximately, there are 197 federal bonds. How many would have been in 1986 approximately, do you think? Uh, approximately there would have been 23. Really? G so give or take. Quadruple. None. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's, it's amazing. So things are really have changed a lot out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the acreage uh, has, uh, in 1986, was... Was roughly uh, the, about eight thousand, eight nine thousand acres. It's it's now about seventeen thousand acres. It was up to twenty two thousand, uh, and then a lot of people went to replant. So that they ripped out acreage to, uh, to. It was time to replant. But then, as the economy started to fall down, they they've held off on on the replanting. <laughs> so you brought us today some Syrahs, which is Ed's favorite grape. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, uh, but you brought it from different parts of Santa Barbara County, so we can sort of taste through sort of what the exactly. terroir is and those things. Well, well just <laughs> not that I can do anything in in thirty. There's one thing I can do in thirty seconds, but but yeah, you well, have to ask wait, my I'm wife. Sorry, and, that's and, not and, the. Now, so here's that's the, not today's subject. Here, here's the deal. <laughs> the the um, uh, Santa Barbara County, with its its unique formation, and, and I'll hold this up. California used to be like this 17 million years ago. It became like this, and Santa Barbara County is right on the elbow, and and it has two coasts. It's it's like a peninsula that juts out into the Pacific. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to know where LA is? Yeah. Point to it. <laughs> no thank you. All right, never mind. <laughs> so so what I'm saying is is that that we have this. Um, this very unique uh, uh, situation where the, the, the winds that come off the very cool Pacific Ocean give us this, this very, very broad range of, of climates in a very short space. And so we have a, a number of, uh, of different growing zones, a, a diverse number of growing zones in a very small space. Ah, you said that earlier. Diversity perfected. Yes. Diversity is it, perfected. Is that the motto now? DP. DP. We just okay. say DP. And so what I thought I'd do is rather than bring you all the different varieties, I would bring you one variety that can adapt to all of those, those different uh, growing regions. And that one variety is Syrah. And, and it, and I think it, he means that, folks. I do mean he that. looked at the camera. And, and what it does is it has the ability to, to um, it's, it's very, in fact, this is, uh, for those of you who ever saw the, uh, the, the movie or the TV series MASH, this is Radar. Uh, Syrah is the radar. It can do, it thinks ahead, it does exactly what it needs to do, when it needs to do it, where it needs to do it, and, and, and does it perfectly well without Colonel Blake, uh, all right, Art. So, so let's taste some right. Syrah. So, you, how do you want to taste? You want to taste from cool to hot climate, or well, typically, left typically right? in in the warmer <laughs> climates, you, you've got much more of uh, of the, the 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 ripe strawberry and and the and the and the full jammy flavors. And and it, as it gets cooler, they're 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 sort of hard nut spice, the 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 black pepper. Okay. So let's so, start with the um, fruity ones. Uh, then the strawberry, uh, the 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 Parisima uh, from Blair Fox, 
the, the Parisima Mountain Vineyard, for anybody who has ever been to Santa Barbara County uh, and has come up Highway 154 from Santa Barbara over the San Inez Mountain Range, almost the first, the first place you get to uh, is uh, Paradise Road, just as you cross over the mountains. And, and Paradise Road is where Paradise Vineyard is. It's the easternmost vineyard in, uh, in the San Inez Valley. And uh, it, it's extremely warm. It, it's a, a small vineyard and, and actually very, very sought out for, uh, for Syrah. You could, you could paint with this. It's, uh, actually, actually, Look at that. actually could, Christina, Lo, uh, Christina Larner does paint with it. She, uh, Pretty she's damn expensive Mike, paint, isn't it? Well, she's Michael Larner of Larner Vineyards. 14.8%, so that's why you get those legs, you know? It's really good. I got a little chocolate in there. I got mm -hmm. the blackberries. Absolutely. The chocolate, blackberries. There what is I one strawberry in there. <clears> what I here. object to with most, with a lot of Syrahs is that animal hair flavor and component. I mean, it really is like, you know, you can say barnyard about burgundy, and it's good barnyard. This, a lot of Syrahs are bad barnyard, and I don't get any of that out of in this. Fact, I get all some these nice fruit. When we pre-tasted them, uh, I had no none of that smoky... Over the done. Well, uh, smoky animal. is okay. It's when, well, when it mean, actually the, gets I mean, like the, an animal. The hair. gamey stuff. Yeah, I really I gamey though. Well, I, I, what I think about Syrah is, and, and and you know, God bless this, somebody. You know, and it actually was 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 Robert Balzer. You know, when, when you smell that 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 the sort of that smoked meat, that bacon, it, it, it shouldn't be in your face. It should be, you should be smelling it from a couple of houses down. Oh, it that's, should be that, 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 is, is somebody, that's a great idea. is somebody bacon ham? Has somebody yeah, got the barbecue a going? And, and when, when it's that wisp, that's when it's right. And, and if you get the hint of that, that's what people are talking about. They're not talking about, sorry, Ed, but I, I need to do that. I, I need to do that for the folks, you know. <laughs> yes, well, you did. The, um, <laughs> One thing about this wine, the, the finish is extremely long. Yeah. I mean, I'm still tasting the mm -hmm. wine. There's a ton going on in there. Well, Syrah, Syrah wants to please. And, and we had, a, I think we had, we were on such a roll here in, in, in the U.S. with, with Syrahs that, that have uh, all of the elegance. And, and uh, to a certain extent, you know, we had a, a bit of a joke when, when I was at Zaka Mesa of, you know, Syrah was... Uh, and I can't, it's not a joke anymore, but 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 Pinot Noir uh, on steroids. Uh, but now steroids is not as yeah, you can't say that anymore. Not a joke. No, it's not you funny know. anymore. Uh, but but um, but I mean, it was it was it was amped up. I mean, it was had had more power and more. Didn't have quite the 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 uh, that that subtle grace. But it, but it was it had all of the. Uh, uh, all of the the complexity, if, you know, if, if anybody understands. Okay, what so that what's word the is. difference between these two Syrahs that we're, we just tasted? Okay, well, well, the the Parisima Mountain is uh, 20, uh, 20 plus miles west, twenty plus miles closer to the Pacific Ocean than, than uh, 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 Paradise. Than Paradise, and and it is. This is from. Uh, Be the Beckman's uh, Parisian uh -huh. Mountain Vineyard. Mm -hmm. uh, this is biodynamically farmed. It is in the in what's uh, the, called the Ballard Canyon, which is 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 now applying for right. its own AVA. Uh, it is it is not as cool as the next one we'll taste, which is uh, is uh, from uh, Santa Maria Valley, um, but it is. Um, is considerably cooler, uh, and and it's on a on a hillside. the the uh, The paradise is is at a relatively high elevation, but it, it's it's on a on a mesa, uh, tucked in between between um, uh, two uh, two two hill. For, Are these uh, both the same I get, vintage? I know the different vintages, but I get more alcohol. Well, world. I get more fruit in this, and I shouldn't because it's you a do? cooler I get climate. Less fruit. Well, well, there you go. That's why. Me. That's what makes the world go round, boys and well, girls. Well, I mean, you, 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 I, get, it's I think very you complex. should you should mm -hmm. get more. You should get a more. I mean, a more berry fruit. Uh, you know. Uh, okay, my fruit is your berry. Holy cow! <laughs> I saw that movie. Wasn't that with David Niven? Stop the camera now. <laughs> but the alcohol content is definitely hotter in this. Now that from the weather. I, I don't, well, the, the yeah. vintage. The bricks. Oh, the vintage. Yeah. It's, they're great. They're both great. They're both really, really good, and, and they're, they're both, both you know, there's some differences between them. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I think that that um, one thing that that uh, that Syrah uh, picks up, especially in um, uh, with alcohol, it 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 balances the alcohol not only as as wine, you know, quote unquote, by the glass. 
but also with the food. That, that other wines say that a wine, you have to be much more careful with Pinot Noir than you do with yes. Syrah in terms of, of how the alcohol is, is up front. I agree, I agree with that. Now, I'm tasting this earlier, and it reminded me, we did, the, we did a Kenneth Volk Merlot, which is very interesting. That there's a, you know, that he's making a Bordeaux varietal up there anyway, but uh, I fell in love with it, and I, I get this elegance out of this Syrah that I got out of his Merlot when, he, when we featured it. This is, I really fell in love with this wine when we first tasted it. And, and this, the, 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 I think the more, I, I think maybe you might even have a longer lasting relationship. The, the more as you swirl this one around too, because this one, the more the more oxygen it picks up, the more yeah, aeration it gets, it, it, it really starts to, this is one of those layered, you know, Gorgeous wines that, that, like Santa Barbara County, you, you don't wear a jacket or a, you know, you got to wear a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a shirt, a sweater, layers, a going vest, a jacket, really an overcoat, and then fruit, you take it off one at a time. Chocolate, it's softer than the other ones were. Oh, it's got more acid though, and, and it's end. a little tighter, you know. And um, this, this oddly enough, uh, the, the Nielsen Vineyard, from the, which was the source of this, was the the first commercial vineyard in Santa Barbara County. Uh, not the first vineyard, but the first commercial vineyard which which started in 1964. Uriel Nielsen and uh, Bill De Mattei uh, planted in 1964. They said, hey, this would be great. And the University of California Davis said, this is going to be a great place for you guys to plant fruit. And they had contracts with wineries up in, in Napa. They didn't plant Syrah. This has been, been planted recently. But um, in fact, back then they planted uh, Cabernet, Chenin Blanc, uh, uh, Riesling, Gewürztraminer, the things and that great were, varietals were, for that area. Were, were, you know? Some were. The, the, actually, the, the Riesling and Gewürz, if they had kept them there, would have been great. Would have been great. The, the Cabernet. Okay, I've got some, some great Shannons from that area. Good well, really yeah. wonderful. In fact, they featured the Santa Barbara Crossing Shannon, which I thought was really good. Fabulous. Yeah, a very good area. But you know, it, like Jim has pointed out, it's such a diverse area. You can find areas to you know. It used to get really banged up because people were trying to grow Cabernet. They didn't do a very good job because most of the area is too cold. Yeah. But there are some very warm areas in the, in the eastern area, that uh, part of San Ynez Valley, that has been proven by guys like Fred Brander is, you know, is, and Foxen, they made some unbelievable Cabernets. So um, uh, now we're heading into uh, the, the, the series of the oldest vineyards of Syrah in Santa Barbara County. Um, Actually, in the, in the Central Coast now, Gary Eberly up in, in Paso Robles brought Syrah down from Davis and in a, <clears throat> in a future episode of uh, the Wine of the Month Club, not just any wine, but the, the Wine of the Month Club uh, episode on Santa Barbara County, we'll talk about uh, the, 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 the trans, uh, gre- not transgression, but the, the transmutation of of Syrah from different parts of the world to Santa Barbara County. Um, anyway, the the uh, Zaca Mesa was the the first winery to plant Syrah in Santa Barbara County. The source of its uh, of its wood was uh, up in in Paso Robles. That vineyard has been ripped out and replanted. So now the oldest vineyard in the Central Coast, uh, Syrah, is is Zaca Mesa. So th- this is is somewhat of an historical point, but it, it's also um, uh, a winery that has had you know a fair amount of success uh, with with Syrah as well. And uh, this is in the mid zone. This is this is kind of the Goldilocks, you know. So it, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's you know it it's you know, it, you know these are euphemisms I've never heard before. The <laughs> no, they're they're, ed, they're they're not euphemisms. They're edphemisms. <laughs> okay, uh, you great. know, Paul's Paul's <laughs> mephemisms is 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 that, that, that's like that's what a, that's it. Well, that's a, interesting. That's but a, Zaka Mesa, you know, they've become sort of a, they, they have become a broad market chain item. Is this Syrah part of their mainstream product line, or just sort of their elevated product line, or where where are we at with their product? Well. Line? well um, uh, Actually, the, the, the shift began in, in the mid-90s uh, when some of the people that, that I, I knew were there um, and uh, um, that to, to become the estate winery and, and, yes. and sort, of, sort of shift. And, and so the, the sure. Syrah is the backbone of, uh, of the production and there, there are other wines around that. But the, the vineyard is, is primarily planted to Syrah up on, on the Mesa there. So. 
gorgeous wine. It's really, really good. You know, excellent I, I, wine. I didn't expect it because I've just they've been around for so long. I've seen their brand everywhere, and I thought maybe this was going to be part of their run of the mill. But this is really a balanced. Well, wine, I have a special wine. place in my heart for Zach and Mesa because the original owner, Marshall Reem, was a really good friend of mine, a great guy. Ken Brown is still a very close friend of mine. He was their first winemaker. This I'm going back to the '70s now. And how many people came out came out of of Ken Brown's you know the oh. college of Ken Brown? Mm -hmm. you know, That's right. C -O -C -O -K -B. You know, Byron and now Ken Brown and. Um, I Jim mean, Clendenin and Lane Tanner. Jim they, they, well, Jim uh, Clendenin of Obone Clemont and, and, and Bob, Bob Lindquist used to work at the tasting room at Zach and Mesa when I first met him in the <laughs> early 80s. <laughs> you so, know, they were sitting back here, oh, I have Bob uh, Benjamin. Uh, yeah, annoying, uh, annoying visitors that thought they know more than I did. You know, J Joey Tensley, who makes, you know, arguably some of the, 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 the better Syrah, if not, you know, depending on how, you know, worked in the tasting room at, at, at Zach and Mesa for a while before we got some assistant so winemaker jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of career so started the, there. There's a a lot, a, a lot, a lot of great, great Santa Barbara people who, who, who got some of their starts at. Uh, it's a gorgeous wine, lots of blueberries and the it, perfect wine. Not much acid, you know. It's, it's well, it's fat it's, enough. It, uh, you it's know, balanced, it's, but it's not you know dry. Gee, there's there's no color here, Look unfortunately. It's like purple. Now, now this uh, the, the Colson Canyon. Uh, uh, again, we, we're talking about now the, the the Nielsen Vineyard, which is at the at the heart of the Santa Maria Valley. Colson Canyon goes up the mountains due north, but it, it's it's outside. Uh, it, it literally is is on the border of the Santa Maria Valley. So this is ADA. really cool. So well, it, it, it's it's north and and east. So it it has. It's in a valley, and and half of the half of the vineyard is in uh, Santa Maria Valley. The other half is in is outside. So it, it uses uh, a Santa Barbara County as opposed to a Santa Maria Valley AVA. It's 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 warmer than than typically the 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 Santa Maria Valley appellation would be. But it, it's great to contrast you know this against needs, Nielsen. This needs wheat toast and a little almond butter. This is like blueberry <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting. This is a 2009, and it's already Look throwing sediment. sediment. It's already got sediment on the side of the bottle. Which means there's some extract in here, which of course you could tell by looking at the color because but you can't see through it. You, you literally cannot see through this on, with an inch of wine in the glass. It's amazing. It, it is. It, it's um, again. I, I, I what I was starting to lead up to a little bit before about Syrah and, and, and Santa Barbara County, where we we had this this wonderful step to go up. And then, then the rest of the the new world invaded with, with mm -hmm. one ninety nine and two ninety nine and three ninety nine Syrahs, yeah. or or sometimes called sh shiners, yeah, shiners. And, yeah. And, and 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 it was you know great wines uh, for the mo for the money, yet gave a definition to a variety that that perhaps. Um, Commoditized it as opposed to vari varietalized it, yeah. and, and I and I think that Syrah that. is is a, is a uh, as presented in Santa Barbara County is is a much different as represented here a much different wine than um, something that has a different colored tail. I agree. This is, they're gorgeous wines, and being that this is your first visit, we don't want to. We don't want to disclose everything, you know. No, no, time. you don't want to shoot the. Uh, yeah, right. So yeah. I thought this, we did. This, this is a, a wonderful representation of the stuff that you brought down from Santa Barbara. And we appreciate it, and we are going to do this again. Promise. I promise. Can, Without can it. Can I get my own mic next time? Yeah, I think we can share it, or I get my own Ed, or my and, own. You know. And I'm going to do mine all by well, myself. Well, it's too bad you don't project. That's the problem. <laughs> you know, really seriously. Uh, I, I did wonder why is is that a crack on the on the lens? No, is that I, I think it's me? just natural. Or, you yeah, know, sorry. I want my own yeah. show. All all right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure having you here, Jim. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's uh, usually always. Sort of a plan, yeah, but... here, let, let, let's do this. Yeah, let's oh do gosh! Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See you next time. The wine. Why can't our government series. do that? <laughs> <laughs>